Hey fellow people of YouTube and welcome to Jack and Dexter the Precursor Legacy with Greg. Uh last episode we decided we we're gonna move on to the next stage. We didn't spend that long in that stage, only like two or three episodes I I believe. Now we're about to face this boss battle and he's shooting rocks at me. And I just got hit by one already. Focusing. This guy's name is Claw, I believe. And with access to this, avoid the rocks and hit him. Mm, spam in square. Now run before it comes and kills us. Classic boss battle music. Bow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, doing good. Basically, you just can't be slow during this. All right, the blue eagle is over here to activate the path that gets smaller every time for some reason. Got to the end. Shoot, 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 shoot. Spamming square. Let's go back. Alright, I think we got... I think we only hit him... Need to hit him three times, actually. He's like any other classic boss battle. In any classic game. Oh, poop. Oh, poopity poop. Almost got hit like three times already. I got hit once. I like how his only offense is shooting a rock at my face. Huh. I'm there, bro. Stop shooting rocks at me. Die. And we are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great work. The people of Rock Village are breathing a collective sigh. I'm. But there's no. They're breathing a collective sigh of relief. <coughs> Jack. Jack. That's probably what she was saying right then. Alright, so, Mountain Pass, and next, we defeated Claw, we need Scout Flies, and I'm pretty sure there's a secret passage somewhere you can take to get the other Power Cell. I'm not going to try too hard to get that. We gotta beat these guys to the end. Did you just say, alright? Yeah. Shortcut. Okay, I already passed one. Doing good. Pretty sure I'm ahead of them all now. No, guys, I'm not rushing through this game. I'm just, I've just played it multiple times before. So if you think I'm rushing, shut up. So I love this game. I'm playing them all, so. Obviously, I'm not rushing through them. There's a scout fly. I'm gonna run into everything. That's alright with you. Pretty sure I'm almost to the end already. Must get every scout fly. One more scout fly. I don't really care if I get them all though. There it is, I'm gonna get it. Anyway. Watch they pass me during this. That would suck. They kill us all. No! Stopped him. I got another power so
So we have 60 power cells. The Red Sage's lab is just ahead. Go down the teleport gate so we can join you. Ah, we'll do that, Kira. This is a pretty awesome uh, area too. Almost said arena. Area. Volcanic crater. This is where the story gets really set up. Like you're like, lots twist. All right, I'm gonna activate this. I'm gonna let you guys watch. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the Dark Eco would affect you both. Nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends. You old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eagle can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eco by itself. Even the precursors... Until now, we've do. had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes, the silos. They will be and all the dark ego of the world will be ours! But that's impossible! Only a precursor robot... Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Wait a minute! That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your zoomers How does she know where it is? you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. All right, so basically, the guys who are who were supposed to change Daxter back have been messing with Jack and Daxter and Samus and Kira all along. The lurkers—they've been using the lurkers to get this robot so they can open the silos, which will have to fight the big robot at the end. So they can spill Dark Eco all over the world and be able to control it. They're like the Dark Eco sages, basically. And what else? So yeah. I, and they've captured all the sages of Eco. They probably could have easily captured Samos there. But they do it later. And we have to rescue the sages and stuff. So let's talk to the Samos and Kira. They're the key to continuing our journey north. Could he actually have... He, he was saying a sentence? There seems to be a large lurker presence in the spider cave. Great. Sounds like a real cheery place. Let me guess. There are spiders in the yep. spider caves, right? Of course there are spiders in spider caves. No, there's, there's none. Problems. The lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it! Sorry, bro. So basically, we are going to go find these two guys who are mining for something. But I kind of forgot where they are. Pretty sure they take orbs for po orbs for power cells. Here is a scout fly. 
There's a thing, but I don't have enough orbs to buy either one of them. How many orbs do I have? 82. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, those guys are back here. And going back here did not give me enough cursor orbs. Let me get two more. And then I'll buy one from them, and then we'll end the episode. Okay, there's gotta be some sort of precursor. She hasn't told me how many. Alright, I was about to say, well, she hasn't told me how many power cells I need. And right in the middle of that sentence, she had to interrupt me. So I got enough precursor orbs to buy one power cell from these guys. I'm gonna go buy one in the episode and continue. And I'll probably go to the spider caves first. I'm pretty sure that's the only place I can go right now. What's up, bros? Hey, Gordy, uh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through? Uh, us two. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. Duh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard! Actually, we want Willard. Willard. Not gem. We got four of them. Do you want them? Yes. What bird brain here is trying to say is... We may have a few Does he have a candle for a hat? We might That's weird. With them for he must be in the, some yours. weird stuff. Where have I heard that before? Hey, Everywhere. Geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway. Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? All right, I'm gonna buy a power cell. Oh, all right, I'm ready. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Bow. Down. Wow. All right, so we got 61 power cells, and we need 72. Hey, a scout fly. Three scout flies for this area, and we're gonna end up episode right here. <laughs> We're going to end the episode right here, guys. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Bye.